Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, welcome back. We are super excited here today. Yeah, uh, I loved how we ended the last season of Mad, uh, Men. Of Mad Men. Yeah, and I, where it's going, I'm super stoked for where this is going. I've been thinking about this all week. Me too. We were talking about that earlier. It was like, yeah. man, the the the, the idea, you know, the the, the the company sold. Don is back. And, well, he might. Well, that's what I'm saying. Um, Duck thought he had him pinned into a corner. Yeah. And Don, you know, he's like, you know, you're under contract, so you can, you know, get on board with what I'm telling you, or you can go sell insurance. And he's, I don't have a contract. I don't have a contract. And Duck lost it. And just strolled out of the room. And strolled out of the room, and Duck completely melted down. In front of in fr- the, the, the CEOs, in front of Sterling and Cooper, in front of everybody. Everybody who's in charge. Every, yeah. All he the partners. Yeah. Really he, yeah. All the partners, everyone who's in charge. He lost it, and I had a great line from a uh, I forget his name, the British, the British. Yeah, guy. He he, I, like, I'm, I'm not sure what his name was. He was like, he never could hold a flicker. <laughs> yeah, it's like, there goes there goes a dumb drunk. You know, exactly. It's like man, that that could not have gone better for du- for Don or worse for Duck that that meeting. It really couldn't have. Yeah, I, I mean, like in the big picture, Duck is still president, but I mean, Don but, won that argument. Won sure, for sure, and, and and my expectation going forward is. That Don is not going to leave Sterling Cooper, obviously. Now nah, we got seven seasons. Right. And I think he spins him there. Yeah. Um, but I do kind of want to see where the, the power I, struggle with Don and Duck goes from here. We've been setting it up for a season. We really have. Yeah. I, I hate Duck. I hate Duck I, so I'm not much. a fan of Duck as a person, right? And, you know, out of all the shows, we're, we're doing all the shows we do are fantastic. For sure. But the strongest shows we are doing are definitely Mad Men and The West Wing. For, oh, and I think Succession so. too. For, for right, 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 right. Like, but this show is so good. It's, it's so it's, well written and acted. You know, it, yeah. It's like West the, Wing the West Wing and this are just like the best per- written shows. Per- perfect writing, perfect direction, perfect cast. You and know, I, like I said, Succession is too. Uh, this is just this is just elevated. Man. Oh yeah, this, this is this. It's hard. Top to, notch. Yeah, it is hard to top this show for sure. I don't know if it's better than Breaking Bad, and obviously, like, it's a different kind of show. It's a different kind of right. show, but I mean, it's definitely up there. And I'm really surprised that Breaking Bad overshadowed this show when it was on TV because this show is among the best shows of all time. Right, it, it, it has to be. People don't really talk about it in that regard. They they, 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 they hold did. it in high regard, but like, right. it's not at the top of the best show of all time list. Right. Like, I I just don't think it. Ha- I think it had a really passionate, smart audience when it was on. Because I remember when it was on, it was a big deal. Yeah. But I don't think it had a broad audience. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it because like it. How it's do a, you it, sell a show about men in rooms talking? Right. It, yeah. It, it's a it's a it's a dialogue heavy, you know, steadily paced drama. That's not why I watched. It. I, that's kind of the reason why I didn't watch it for so long. I sure. was like, ah, it looks kind of dull. Yeah. Oh uh, boy, it's not. It's not. Uh, dull it at is all. compelling television, it's man. Riveting. It, it yeah. really is. It's just all intrigue and just it, not backstabbing, but it's all plotting and just how do I get ahead. Right, and now Betty's pregnant, so we don't know. Right, so we don't know what's going to happen, you know, with that moving forward. And that was a great moment too. The two of them like reluctantly holding hands at the table at the end of the episode. Kind, yeah, kind of remind me of Gone Girl. Yeah, a little bit. You yeah, know a what little I mean? bit. Where it's yeah, like yeah. We're, we're kind of stuck together now. I. So we this last season showed us a lot about Don. Oh uh, yeah, we learned he's a lot a run, about Don. I mean, he was a run in the first season too, right. but I mean, like he just went away. Yeah, he's just like I, I can't deal. I'm going to go. So now that we know that he's capable of that. I don't know. Well, because I don't like, know. Like he didn't. He didn't mind running away from Sterling Cooper at the end. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't. I don't know. Like he. he I think he will take care of his kids. But at the same sure. time, like he might not. He right, could have. Yeah. He could just go to California again. You know? <laughs> yeah, he's like I'm out. I mean, he was paying the bills yeah. for us still. He was paying the bills. Like so, he'll, he'll take care of the family. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like he can just go wherever. He and, can do whatever he and wants. The fact the show right. introduces that element. It's it's a necessary. Uh, tool in their tool belt to be like we know you know who Don is yeah he's you a one foot out the door kind of guy exactly for sure yeah so uh, eager to see going forward man I'm really yeah. psyched for this we do want to welcome one new Patreon subscriber from yesterday guys so Geronimo thank you and welcome we really appreciate you being here yeah man thank you very much yeah. um, and for those of you guys that are watching us on YouTube for the first time welcome to our channel yeah I'm Joe here Kevin and uh, if you don't mind hitting that like button for us uh, leave us a comment down below tell us what you think about Mad Men. Is it, are we underselling it? Is this the best show of all time? Is it one of the best shows of all time? Let us know in the comments below. It has to be, right? It's yeah. got to be considered one of the best, for sure. Top five. Oh, one of the great dramas for, that I've ever seen on and, television, uh, yeah. While you're here, too, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our new Mad Men episodes and all the new episodes of all the shows we have going on. Absolutely. If you want to check out the full link reaction to all our Mad Men episodes, plus everything else we're watching, please check out the link to our Patreon in the description below so you can watch the entire unfiltered all the way through start to finish episodes with us. Yes. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, we are several episodes ahead over on Patreon on, on Mad Men. So if you want to get ahead, but by the time you're seeing this, we are well into Season 3. Yeah. Uh, probably about halfway through Season 3 by the time you're seeing this. So jump on over there. It's a it's it's a good time, and we'd really love to have you, and we'd love to engage with you in the comments. Oh, yeah. Do you know how hard I've prayed? Oh, flashback. Why did you make me suffer? 
God will give you a child. Is this his mom, maybe? So you killed another one. Oh, whoa! Is this Don's dad? I'm assuming. Yeah, I think it is. I think they showed him before, right? Okay, because the guy looks familiar. I'm cold. Oh, yeah, she died giving birth to Don. Yeah. It's midnight. What do you want? I told you God would give you a child. Mm. This is your husband. Surprise. This is it. His name is Dick. Oh, yeah, Dick Whitley. I wish his mother should have lived to see. Because she was saying, I'm going to cut his dick off, so she yeah. named him Dick. That's so funny. <laughs> that really is. There's oh, okay. no point in both of us not sleeping. Okay, no, she's showing, so it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. I figured it might. She yeah. wakes up and Carla said she saw Sally hitting it with a hammer. <laughs> she's taken to your tools like a little lesbian. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> you know there's something about the way he talks. I could listen to him read the phone book. Well, when he gets to S, I need Howard Sullivan at Lever Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good comeback. Yeah, like I'm trying to work here. It has to be done. Well, it's a sales call, isn't there more I can do here? It's not a sales call. You're the face of our business. Don's grown his hair So Don, Don, Don didn't leave. It was brought to our attention that your wife was undergoing radiation. We thought it decent to wait. Oh my God. That was decent. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? See you on the bread lines, fellas. Dang. That sucks. It does suck. So Pete's taking his job then. Yeah. The last of Fellow comrades in mediocrity. <laughs> oh my Don't god, we're doing a Jerry Maguire. God. You can all go straight to hell. Okay, wow. almost a Jerry Maguire. Not starting Mr. Again. Campbell's office? What? I let him know. The firings. Mr. Campbell, Mr. Price wants to see you. <laughs> Despite your title, you are not a secretary. I'm Mr. Price's right arm. I'm not his typist. Of course. Good luck, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Is that Duck's old office? Really? I'm not sure. I can't speak for everyone here, but, um... Is he replacing Duck? Like, did Duck really go off you. the rails that much? I don't know. You he thinks he's getting fired. my department, and now you're offering me a chair. How cruel of me. I wanted to inform you that you're now head of accounts. Yeah. Could you get my wife on the phone? Oh, still his wife. Well, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Since when do you care? Since I was made head of accounts. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm enjoying this moment for them. You're nice. Yeah. I should call my mother. Oh, Peter. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Don't go to the well. There's no water there. Oh. Yeah, she's right. Mr. Peterson's left the agency. If that's your news, I think you've been scooped. So you've heard. Let's just say he did not go gentle into that good night. Should I be worried? No, I should say not. We're making you head of accounts. Oh. What? There'll be a formal announcement. Oh, my great. Gosh. So Pete thinks they each think they have it themselves. I, unless they're just like telling a bunch of people the that. Just messing with people. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it. Seven thirty. It'll be a hoot and a half. Okay. Don can't even fly anywhere without someone hitting on him. I've flown a few times, but I've never actually seen a stewardess of that game. Really? Oh, really? Honestly. Yeah, it happens to Don all the time. I think accounting sounds fascinating. Going through other people's bank accounts? It sounds sexy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you're a couple of G-men. No, we're accountants. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going to a lot of places and... Uh, Ending up somewhere I've already been. Yeah, you have. You're about to do it again. It's the most honest thing you've How said about right? When this is me. Oh, no, no, no. Let me see if it's different than my floor. Oh, she is coming on strong. Don, remember? How he, you, you know what he could have done? He could have been like, no, it's good. <laughs> did she just fake stumble? I think she did. What are we doing? Nothing yet. Don, Don seems into it. Yeah. Yeah, of course he is. I'm engaged. I'm, I'm married. married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. He can't even tell Betty about it. Because it's it's, Don, it's Dick Whitman's birthday, it's not, not Don really Draper's. Birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I for I didn't even 
think about that. He's got it. He's got to He's Don Draper's birthday, but he's he's probably saying it's really his actual Dick Whitman's yeah, actual birthday. That'll explain why he was seeing right. his birth and being in an episode. Yeah. Stand up. Same old Don. Yeah. Oh wow. I was wondering if if, if oh, he was wow. ever gonna go ahead and you know what I mean? Just like, yeah. Do anything, you know? Because yeah. he always denied himself. Is this his first like? It might actually be because he's always saying no when he's had the opportunity. Yeah. Hmm. What is that? Fire alarm? Oh no! What? Ah! Jeez. Be oh, cool, geez. Don. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Don, you're your own fraud. Be cool. Holy cow! Oh my this, god. That could be bad for Saul, man. It could be terrible. Well, Don's, Don's his boss. He can keep a secret. He can, but is and Don the kind... I don't know what kind of guy Don is in this kind of situation. That's nuts. Yeah. I think Lola takes a horse and buggy. She's never on time. I'm not at work yet. <laughs> <laughs> she's so worried about getting married. Then why is she shamelessly flirting with Money Penny all the time? Don't call him that. He hates that. Money, <laughs> Money, Money Penny, that is funny. Mr. Price called a big meeting for you and Mr. Cosgrove. Oh, so it's going to be both of them. What are you talking about? <laughs> on oil, Dunkin' Donuts, General Foods Europe, Kodak, Lever Brothers, Martin. Also, I go. Ken's cool with it. Ken's okay yeah, with splitting Pete's it. Pete's face. He's so he's disgusted. About, he's about to lose it. Yeah. It's just glaring at Ken. You're each taking half the company. Of course, it's possible someone could distinguish themselves. It would be easier that way. Yeah, Pete. Look at it as an opportunity. Pete. Yeah. See if you can blow Kim out be, of the water. Right. I'd be a little irritated if I was Jared Harris here. I'd be like, are you really about this to like petty about talk? this? Yeah. Right, yeah. Why did you even accept this? You have no interest in this. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want this? Because you're no good. Ah, Pete. It's interesting how like Pete has always been jealous of Ken. He has. For the writing and everything. Yeah. Like getting, almost getting his wife to sleep with another guy to They've publish been... a story. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a competition that Ken has never known that he's even in. Yeah. I'm going to ask you something. Uh-oh. He looks terrified, man. I feel so bad for Saul right now. Limit your exposure. That's it. Limit your exposure. There's a lot of levels to what he just said to him Limit right there. Your Limit Look. your exposure. Yeah. You're an ambitious man, and an ambitious man is never happy with yeah, I don't think he's like your father at all. Your Why does it always nice. have to be like this? Why can't I get anything good all at once? <laughs> He's such a baby. You can do whatever you want, but they do not want to hear your outrage. They don't. They want She's you to right. Beat They'll Ken. snag their right back. I know what that. they want. Can I speak with you for a moment? Come in. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah, now what, Pete? I just wanted to let you both know how honored I am with this promotion. Help yourself. Such a P word. He, it, it, took, it took his wife to get him into the right headspace, though, to do that. Uh, it took seeing his boss. Yeah. Pete has no spine. We just fired one third of their workforce. It's unseemly to go through their pockets as well. Yeah. I kind of like Jared. Well, this is his office. Too. It's good, but you sit out front. He thinks he's a lot more important than he is. Yeah. Sorry I broke your suitcase. Find out how much it is to repair, and it'll come out of your allowance. I don't have an alarm. <laughs> I just thought, I just didn't want you to go. Oh. Oh. That's oh my so God. Sad. Yeah, because he was gone for so yeah. long. Yeah. Are these for me? Yes. <gasps> he has the wings from the stewardess. Oh, they got mixed up in his stuff. Man, that was a brilliant episode. That was so good. As always, I'm not even surprised that this right. show is brilliant. There's been no bad episode as far as I'm concerned. Man, have they set up some interesting dynamics for the third season, though, haven't Man. they? With, with, like you said, with the, with the British people there. Yes. I, I, I like... So I'm very curious to see. We we got no word of Duck. No. No word. I, I assume he's been fired. I hope so. I hate Duck so much. I, yeah. I'm not a Duck fan. I think he's a snake, and I honestly don't think he's fit for the job. So it, it, it's interesting that he got to this deal, and he was going to be the president. Now we have Jared Harris there. Yeah, I think he's replaced him. I think they, they sent Jared Harris to replace Duck. I hope so. I mean, yeah. honestly, like, I mean, uh, who, who's the tell? I, I feel like they're going to mention his name, or maybe there's some behind-the-scenes drama. I don't know. Him being gone, I, I don't think you I don't think you just send her off to Mandyville. 
Yeah, you know, like I the mean, West Wing. Yeah, exactly, right, Mandy yeah, off the yeah. I, th- I think I th- I don't think we're done with Duck because he was I, such I think a big part of season two. Right. I think I think there's got there's got to be something going forward where we get more of it. Yeah. Because it was just too good. Yeah. To just like and we're done with it. I'm yeah. like, no, no, you you were bringing us something really cool here that we wanted to see play out. And I've seen that actor in, in many things before. Sure. He's a good character actor, so I feel like he, platoon. Yeah, platoon. Yeah, exactly. Freaking in platoon. Man. He's, he plays a really good heel. He really does. He does. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so yeah, I would. I, I really doubt the actor behind the scenes was acting a, a certain way to where they had to write him off the show. No, no, no. But no. Uh, yeah, they're they're, they're going to resolve that somehow. I feel like. Right. I mean, it probably makes sense for the time jump for no one to be talking about Doc. Yeah. But I, I bet you're right. I bet we get it later. One thing I never, I, I didn't even realize, we're three seasons, three seasons into it, it never crossed my mind, is the fact that Don would have a different birthday than Dick. Yeah, I didn't either. It didn't occur to me until it's like it's my birthday, but he can't, he can't tell anybody. It's his real birthday. Yeah, it's his real birthday, and he couldn't tell anybody How except the, the, the strange, a stranger. Internalize that, right? You know, like it's like it's my, it's my secret birthday. You know, yeah, it is right. That's. It's insane. When you're living a double life, yeah, you got to. There's some things that are going to get lost, right? It's like, oh, man, it, it's, this was. Kudos to whoever wrote this episode. Matt for, Weiner. 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 Matt, Matt Weiner actually yeah. wrote this. Went, yeah. For having it thrown in there, it's like Don had Don and Dick have different birthdays, and we need to address that at some point. And he's still struggling with the the the, the dual persona. You yeah, know what I mean? he is. And uh, obviously, the Sal moment is a huge highlight of this episode. Uh, limit your exposure. Oh, that was so good. That's on par with your wife's name is Mona. Yeah. It's on par with, I don't have a contract. It's any other Don mic drop. That was... It's so strong. It it was, yeah, it it was Don coming coming up with an ad and telling Saul how to play it, how to play things going forward at the same time. That's the thing, right? Is Don has an open mind. Don is not... I don't want to say Don's not a bad guy because, like, he kind of is for, like, how he treats his wife. But at the same time, it's like, he's really not that bad of a guy. He's not that bad of a guy. You know, we had commenters be like, he's up on, you know, hitting him too hard for being an he's adulterer. He's not that bad of a guy. He's not that, he's bad, not of that guy, bad of a dude. You know? And let's face it, adultery is not incredibly uncommon. You know what I mean? Especially back then. You right, know what I mean? For like, sure. Yeah. But it seems like, almost like it's an expectation of, a, of their job. Of you being, know, yeah. as far as everybody else in that office, Don's a saint. <laughs> you know I, what I mean? In a lot of ways, he is. He kind of is. He, he's, always, he's always quite helpful to his friends. And his enemies, I mean... He's, they feel lo- rap, but he's loyal to his co-workers. He you is. know, he did. He, he's never been down with firing anybody that's gotten fired. He, he always, exactly, right? He always seems very remorseful for doing it. Yeah. You know, he offered uh, Peterson a cigarette at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. They how, gave Freddie Rubson a nice send-off. Yeah, you know? how is it that he's so empathetic to other people while he's also this monster on the other side? I know. And even the scene where they're like, you know, he's with Sal and the, the, the flight attendants, and they're like playing this whole G-Man bit. He's got a good sense of humor. Don's a funny guy. He's that was a funny, funny moment. Guy, you know? When he came up with the we're actually secret G-Men thing, so that was that was solid. It's so funny. And, and like, I love the opening of the episode too. Like every time you have Don kind of looking back on his past, like when they do it like in his house, because they've done that before. Yeah. It feels when he fell like, down the stairs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, it feels like uh like a stage play almost. You yeah. Know what I mean, it's it's haunting. It is. And it's I love that's how he sees his birthday. It, it's kind of, it, it, you know, the the birthday thing was so great yeah. for me because he kind of realizes, like, wait a second. Not only is Don struggling and, and and revisiting all the stuff about his old life, he can't talk to anybody about it. Sold. He had to tell a woman who he's never going to see again that it was his actual birthday. And it's because like, he can't tell his family or friends. And it, in a way, he's lying about it still. So even when he's telling the truth, it's still a weird lie. Yeah. You know, and so... It, the, the, how complex that sentence is! I just yeah. it's insane. You know, this whole show is this layer upon layer. Oh upon my layer. god! This this episode was as well written as anything I've ever seen. This was a perfectly structured episode of television. And also, back to the Brit dynamic, there's some tension in that office for sure. We're so, setting up some real di- the, the, like the the cultural differences. You yeah, know, the, of the cultural elites. You kind of have Jared Harris seems quite level headed. Right. He's he's polite. He's like we are right. in their territory. We're right. here to make sure business goes well. But you have that swarmy secretary, Money Penny, Money which Penny. is hilarious. I don't. Yeah, I'm going to call him Money Penny because I don't. I don't remember catching his actual name. Who cares? But Money Penny really <laughs> stuff, right? So he, he's going to be Money Penny for the show. And I, I just want to see how that boils over. I want to see if Jared Harris does side with the Brit, with the Brit side, or if he is a company man, right? You know. And, and, and let's see if Duck still factors into this. Is he still working for Sterling Cooper? Is he on the outside? What is the deal there? All right. Yeah, like I said, we set up a big con. You know, that the, we ended last season on a perfect mic drop moment of Don saying, "I don't have a contract," and Duck losing it. Yeah, 
This show is so good because setting up their conflict and then we don't see it. Exactly. So we've got to. Uh, we some need some level, resolution. <laughs> yeah, we got to come back to it at some point. And this is a great show because it's it's so complex. Each episode, I love show. I love this. This is my favorite part of watching Mad Men with you guys. Is we have to sit here and talk about the themes of the episode for sure. at the end. But at the same time, I feel empty almost because I want to keep watching the show. I need to see what happens. It's so yeah. bingeable, but it's so there's so much to process and digest for sure. Show. Absolutely. So. And it's kind of nice on such a bingeable show that we get to take our time and think about it week to week, you know? And it, it, As people did when it was on TV watching it. Yeah. It's kind of like reading a novel very slowly. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I'm a speed reader. I like to read like all at once. But at the same time, it's like this is something to like – TV is very much like a novel in the sense that like it takes a while. For sure. And so it, it's nice to, to, to mull, up, mull it over, chew it on it, and just really think about it process as we come back the next week and get it out to you guys. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we will catch you on the next one, guys. Cannot wait. Can't wait. See you.